Carrie Underwood there. Even Nat, our stage manager, can do a little jig to that. Uh, he's shaking his head. <laughs> you want to take a question? Huh? People tell me Ellen from New York is out in the plaza. Let's go. Ellen, go ahead. Good to see you. Ask your question. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I'm currently a graduate student at Columbia University studying economic development, and I would love to open my own consulting firm one day, uh, specifically in development, and I'd love to know um, right now, especially in the current uh, economic crisis we're in, how I could go about raising funds to perhaps start my own consulting firm one day. Who? Yeah, don't go anywhere. And, and Ellen, thanks for that question. When I hear consulting firm, I think don't need that much mm -hmm. money to start mm -hmm. it, right, Don? Right, yeah. Typically, a consulting firm is, is a low-cost startup, but mm -hmm. and ideally, it's one that is funded with the first customer's cash. That's the ideal situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For you, you likely just have to put some amount of savings in place such that you can go out, do the work, build the work, and collect for it, and continue to live. Mm -hmm. But I, I would think you're looking for a small loan, and likely from a family member, mm -hmm. with a very uh, short-term cycle. But the biggest thing that puts... Most Americans in consulting business, it keeps them there as a customer. Mm -hmm. Bootstrap, bootstrap, bootstrap. I can't say it enough. Young entrepreneurs have so many resources, especially right now. You're in the prime uh, location as well as uh, the best time of your life. You're in a college scenario where you've got tons of contacts immediately available to you. You've got professors. You've got advisors. You've got fellow students, their families, their friends, their network, et cetera. You have the ability to just you know, pound the pavement, get those clients, like Don was saying, use that to fund your initiatives and really you know, find ways to get everything started on your own time, on your own dime. I would add, uh, get noticed, get noticed. There's never been a time like this to be able to use Facebook, Twitter, other things to get your message out there. But take a position, take an interesting opinion on a subject matter, put it out there, it's even okay if it's controversial. Get noticed. Mm -hmm. If you get noticed, you'll get, you'll get attention, you'll get customers. Yeah, it's very easy. It it, is the idea to consult like emerging economies, per, uh, foreign governments, essentially? Uh, yeah, specifically within microfinance. Yeah, I think you got to start getting quoted as an expert in like The Economist or something. You got to somehow come out with reports that are interesting about what countries are doing. Start with some sort of something you're producing that the media would like to like, kind of like how that company with the realty track and the foreclosure data. It's become a media sensation because exactly. there's a demand for foreclosure information. You need to come up with your little niche information about developing economics that would appeal to international, you know, FT mag economists, things read theoretically by foreign governments who would be your customers. You have to prove, and if you're going to present yourself as an expert and build a business based on it, you have to show people that you are an expert. And yeah, that's, that's not really just building your Right, that's really building your own brand. You know, I tell a lot of consultants as well, you want to be your own media syndicator. It's very important, especially in today's information age, that you control your own content, you control your own message, and you syndicate that to various different areas that it's going to get noticed. You know, there's great services today other than your Facebooks and your Twitters. You have tons of guest blogging opportunities on the Internet, people starving for great free content in exchange for credibility. And I would also say to use a great service, it's called ping.fm. It's a website that allows you to syndicate your message to all different types of social media networks across the internet to always stay in touch with your demographic. It's a great way to keep yourself out there and the expert in your field. Ping's a great recommendation. I'll give you one more. Ezinearticles.com. Yep. Pu publish an article. Yep. Ellen, it was great to see you, Ellen. Thanks for stepping up. Have a great day and best of luck to you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate your help. Oh, you're welcome. Angela.